Hello friends, in today's episode we will look at growing a purple eggplant variety that can be grown easily in both containers and raised beds. So we will be starting our seeds about 8 weeks before planting it out. So we are sowing our seeds here in January in the seed starting kit and what you do is just bury the seeds slightly inside the soil and then label them. I'm using these ice cream sticks here to remember what I've sowed in these seed starting kits. And once you've sowed the seeds, they need warm temperature to germinate. And since it's winters, I kept it inside the house under this grow light. And this grow light is a very effective way of starting your seeds indoors. I will post a link to this grow light in the video description so you can get one for yourself. And in December when it's cold outside, these seeds will thrive in these conditions. And after about 8 weeks, you will have plants that look like this. They are pretty healthy and small plants. And you can either transplant them directly. I'm going to be transplanting them into these 5 pots first. So to prepare a mix for these pots, I'm going to be using the following recipe. I'm going to be using one part of perlite, one part of vermiculite, and then I'm going to be adding two parts of peat moss. And finally, I'm going to be adding one part of compost. And you can even use worm castings if you do not have compost. Now this makes a very good mix, a very porous and a very well draining mix that will help sustain the plant for the next couple of weeks, maybe a little bit more. Now if you want, you can time your sowing in such a way that you transplant these plants directly into the soil, your raised beds or your container. I still had a lot of time before the weather warmed up. So I put them in these smaller containers where they could still sustain for at least one or two weeks, maybe more. And finally what you do is you fill up all your containers with this potting mix that we just created and then plant all the seedlings inside it. And remember you need to provide a good liquid fertilizer while these plants are growing. And about 10 weeks later, you can see that we are now transplanting our seedlings into larger containers. So for eggplants, I recommend that you use at least a 16 inch wide, 16 inch high container. They also grow well in 5 gallon pots. Now this pot has about a 7 to 10 gallon capacity. So it grows very well in this one container. But you can use 5 gallon pots. The eggplants would grow well but the production from the eggplant is not as high. So I recommend that you use something like the pot you're seeing here. It's about 16 inches in diameter, 16 inches in height and holds about 7 to 10 gallons of soil. And 14 weeks later you can see that the eggplant has grown really well. It has good growth. The leaves look very healthy. And this eggplant variety actually produces very good quality plants. Now you might see some leaves that are slightly yellow in color, as you can see here, slightly brown. You can just remove those leaves. These leaves usually develop at the bottom part of the plant and once you remove them, you can get a lot of air into this plant around the bottom part of the plant, which is good for your plants. And you also have much better accessibility into your eggplants the fruits that are formed on the lower part of the container. And as you can see here, the fruits are forming very well, very deep colored purple eggplants, as you can see here. And we will be able to harvest these very soon. 
Now eggplants need to be planted in full sun. They need about 6 to 8 hours of sunlight every day. And you need to water them once a day or even twice a day sometimes during very hot sunny days. But make sure that they always stay hydrated. If you are in your garden early morning, you can see a lot of bumblebees and these buzzing bumblebees are the natural pollinators for eggplants. Unfortunately, the bee population has been decreasing due to the rampant use of pesticides and we have to resort to hand pollination. So here you can see a very simple technique by using a power toothbrush. You just gently touch the flowers to disperse the pollen around the stigma of the flower. In eggplant, it's the same flower, so it's an easy technique. And now for the moment of truth, our harvest. This is what we all wait for. And in June, we started harvesting our eggplants and they look beautiful. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous, deep purple eggplants. And you can start har harvesting these eggplants in June. And we were able to continue harvesting these eggplants for a long time. And I will shortly show you all the harvest videos from June through November. But first, let's look at how this eggplant looks like from the inside. As you can see here, the exterior skin has a nice a deep purple color. And from the inside, there are some seeds in this eggplant, as you can see here. And the key is to harvest your eggplants when they are tender and young. Don't wait too long to harvest your eggplants. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of black hard seeds inside your eggplant, which is not something you want. So this is pretty much the perfect time you can harvest your eggplants. And I will continue to show you the harvest videos. And we do eat a lot of eggplant. We usually stir fry them with spices. And you can see a short recipe here that you can easily make with the eggplants that you grow in your garden. And while we look at all our harvests from June through November, I'll give you some more tips on growing eggplants. Now, eggplants are very similar to tomatoes in one regard. They do need high nitrogen fertilizers when you're starting out the seedlings. They need to grow a lot of leaves, a lot of foliage. But when they start flowering, you have to stop your high nitrogen fertilizers, also called all-purpose fertilizers. Just stop that and start feeding them with a vegetable fertilizer. Now, whether you use organic vegetable fertilizers, some of you like to use inorganic vegetable fertilizers, also called synthetic fertilizers. That's your choice. Everybody has a choice and they need to understand the pros and cons of using an organic fertilizer versus a synthetic fertilizer. But in either case, the eggplants that you grow at home will be much better tasting than the ones you find in the store. And here you can see beautiful looking eggplants starting in June. Now in July, the number of eggplants on the plant were the most. You can see a lot of eggplants growing in this plant. And this plant is on a raised bed. Now I've usually seen that the more soil you have available for the plants, the larger the plants grow and the bigger harvest you get. So in this case, these eggplants were growing on a raised bed. And you can see that they have a lot of eggplants growing. And here is our harvest in July. And moving on to August, we continued harvesting a lot of eggplants in August. It was very hot in Southern California during August. So we were able to harvest a lot of eggplants. You can see a couple of varieties here. And then in September as well, it was quite warm. And we were able to harvest a lot of eggplants in September. Now, eggplants also love Epsom salt, which is a naturally occurring mineral. You need to add one tablespoon of Epsom salt per gallon of water and then feed it to your eggplants every three to four weeks. This has a tremendous effect on eggplants because they have very high magnesium and sulfur requirements. You can see here in October, the eggplants are still growing very healthy and we are harvesting some more eggplants from our raised bed. And it has started to cool down in October a little bit. So the production is decreasing. And finally in November this month, we were still able to harvest a few eggplants. 
but in November you can really see a difference. The eggplants have now become very less in number. The days are cooling down and it's time to switch over to the cooler season crops. But we did make a final November harvest of these eggplants. The ones growing in the raised beds as well as the one growing in the container were producing eggplants in November. And throughout the growing season, I never had to use any insecticide or pesticide for my eggplants. However, if you do want to use some insecticides and pesticides, you should use the ones that are listed on your screen. They're organic and they're safe. But I recommend you do not use any pesticides because the bee problem is a genuine one. You still want a lot of bees in your garden pollinating your flowers. So stay away from any kind of pesticides if you can. So there we have it folks. That was our episode on growing eggplants, the purple eggplants. If you have any questions, do put in a comment below. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.